Hey, what's up? My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. Um, I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. So uh, this video will be about um, 2D camera usage in Cocos Creator. So uh, we're gonna use the camera to follow our character in the game. So let's start. Um, um, maybe you you remember we uh, made this uh, platform demo uh, just several days before so here we have a camera actually it was uh, in canvas so this is the default camera of Cocos Creator so um, I moved everything into the canvas so uh, I want to make things easier to manage for us because uh, we're gonna use uh, player position and camera position to calculate the uh, movement of the camera Okay, now um, I will uh, use some images to decorate this level because we want to uh, uh, see the camera movement. So if we don't have images, it will be not easy to understand. Next video will be also about the parallax effect for different layers. So let's start. This is the background layer. Okay, and this is the, a little middle layer. Okay, and let's put something to the ground. For example, this tile would be great. Actually, um, I will rename it to the ground tile because things will be conflict this is the ground we uh, just uh, defined as a collider before this is the image actually we can um, merge them but I don't want to take time for that I will scale the tile here and um, let's change it to the tiles, the sprite type to the tiles. So when I change its size with this tool, size tool, or uh, you can type size here, which is easy for you. So we can tile the ground in that way. This is okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing for these little obstacles here. scale it a little bit maybe a little more mm -hmm. so I don't want to see the yellowish box here put it here to decorate same for this and same for this okay good now we have graphics in the game so let's do same for the middle and back layer of the uh, background make it tiled and change its size okay at the same time I will uh, I will change this layer actually we can align them then we have a collider here ground collider collider and I want to make it um, larger to fit the ground okay so this is the width new width of the not so I will adjust the size to make things together okay it seems fine let's run the game and see if it's working as expected yes this is good so we have graphics okay now now um, I will create a script to control the camera movement to follow the player so let's go here and create a javascript 
I will rename it to camera camera control control and uh, let's drag and drop this component script to camera node main camera <clears throat> so let's edit this script now here we need the player position and uh, we need to move the camera to the uh, player position um, so I will add a property here player not CC not yes and I will use update method to update the camera position on each frame because the player will be moving around so um, we have two vector uh, positions one is target position That's position this dot player node dot get position so we're gonna get the position of the player node here and let's current position equals this dot not dot get position this will give us the camera position and uh, I want to make linear interpolation here so current position dot lerp to target position um, 0 0.1 and current position uh, lerp is linear interpolation function of a vector uh, as you know positions are vectors those are vec2 uh, types um, lerp is uh, takes the target position and takes a ratio and uh, makes the output here so current position uh, will be uh, get 10 percent closer to target position on each frame then we will set new position for the camera node set position current position right let me check it out this dot not dot set position current position okay so let's go to the editor here and select the main camera we have player node uh, link here so i will drag and drop the player node here then let's run the game cross your fingers okay very good it works so it's uh, following the character in nice and smooth way let's move a little bit further and limit the camera uh, on the y-axis because I don't want to see the black in the below and don't want to see the black on the above of the background image so um, main camera is here so this is the minimum limit of the camera because if we go below it will be showing the black so zero is okay for the minimum number and actually zero is uh, fine for maximum but i want to demonstrate uh, something to you so i will scale the background a little bit further and up so here i want to make camera go between these area okay maximum here minimum here so minimum is zero maximum is 225 okay so let's go to the script here and we want to limit the camera position um, we have a simple function in uh, cocos creator api it will clamp the float number between uh, given numbers so current position 
uh, before setting the position I will change the uh, check uh, clamp the uh, y axis of this uh, position uh, current position dot y will be clamp um, target position point y or 0 and 220 this function will be limit target positions y-axis between 0 and 220 and uh, we will define it here um, just before we setting the position so the camera position will be clamped between 0 and 220 okay let's run the game cross your fingers all the time all the time yes it works yeah as you can see the camera y-axis clamped to the zero and maximum 220 this is great so um, as you can see it's a very jerky at the edge of the image um, at zero and uh, 220 values because we are limiting the position of the camera directly actually we should limit the target position okay if we limit the target position it will be smooth in motion okay so let's change our code to limit the target position not current position oops sorry 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 so just before um, current position I will limit target position I'm just replacing the target position uh, current position with target position so this will be limit our target position then camera will be interpolated and uh, uh, limited uh, clamped target position okay let's go to the editor and run the game hopefully it's gonna work yeah it seems fine yeah look at that it's smooth yeah I really liked it <laughs> this is great so this is the end of this uh, tutorial uh, if you like the tutorial if you find this useful please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment below if you need more tutorials or uh, if you want to see in different subjects please let me know so see you on next video bye